Hey guys, this is David again. We're back today with an, with another computer build for you. It's eight hundred and fifty dollars for the pre-built system. We went to PC Part Picker and we picked out parts that was gonna be the same equivalent. We're gonna see which one is the best bang for the buck. I'll be right back. Thank you. Hey guys, it's David again. I'm back here with another build for you. Today we're gonna be covering this eight hundred forty-nine dollar build. Uh, like I say, it's a pre-built system. I went through PC port picker over here and picked the ports out that's equivalent to it. We're going to see which one's the best bang for the buck today at $850 compared to the $550 one we did last time. Um, and tell you the truth, this one here with the graphics card they put in this thing, this build makes no sense to me whatsoever. I mean, they put a G, GeForce GT 730 2GB DDR3 RAM video card in it. I think the onboard graphics for this thing would be just about as good or awful close to it since it is the 6th uh, generation I core, uh, i7 with hyperthreading. But anyways, I put it together for you. Hopefully this will uh, give you a little bit more informed on if you ought to buy a pre-built or if you ought to build your own at this price point. Let's get started. The pre-built came with a 6th six, generation Intel i7-6700 uh, processor. Non-overclockable. It's up to 4, uh, 4 GHz in speed. So that's what I went with was the i7-6700, which the 6th generation, if you didn't know, is the newest processors out by Haswell. It is a quad-core 3.4. And it boosts up to 4.0 uh, gigahertz, just like the uh, pre-built says it does. So that's basically the same exact thing. They put Windows 10 on this one as well, just like the last one. So I put in Windows 10. And yes, all my build guides, they do include the operating system. I'm not like a lot of them and leave that out, because if you're building a Windows system, you're going to have to pay for Windows. All right, they got 8 gigabyte dual channel ddr4 2300 megahertz four two two four gig sticks so that's what i went with uh maybe let me see if i can find it here there we go we got crucial uh eight gigabyte two times four ddr4 2133 uh pretty good memory nice it's a good well-known name brand in the ram industry there ain't a whole lot more to say. It's the exact same thing as what they give you. Uh, so there you, there's that. Uh, they went with a one terabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive. And again, that's what I went with. Oh, I just closed the window on it. Imagine that. I went with the Seagate Barracuda. Hold on a second. Let it load up. There it is. Uh, one terabyte, 7200 RPM, three and a half inch, six gigabyte per second transfer rate hard drive. Uh, the exact same hard drive I put in the last build, actually, with the $550 system. Uh, the next is a video card that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. But, you know, they put it in there, so guess what I did? I went ahead and threw it in there too. Uh, this is from Amazon. It's the Zotac GT730 low profile. It's got the two gigs of RAM, DDR3, which that's an old, that's actually an old standards in uh, video card memory, but that's what they use was DDR3, two gigabyte. So that's what I did. That's what I mean when I say this system makes no sense whatsoever to me. I don't understand the thinking or how they how they justify this. If you know, leave it in the comments how, how they justify putting that little uh, video cord in a machine that's a brand new Skylake build. I mean, it just don't make no sense to me. Totally blew my mind when I seen that. Uh, getting on with the ports here, we got the DVD or W writer. Uh, I did one of those here too someplace. Let me find it. Got my tabs all screwed up now. And da, 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 da. I know I got one here. Right there it is, the LG. Same one that I used last in the $550 build. There ain't no sense in changing it. I mean, the DVD, CD burner, that's what it is. It's comfortable for what they're going to give you. So that works pretty good. Uh, the keyboard, they include a wired keyboard, so I added one. 
And I went with the same one I did last time, the gear head, uh, slim black keyboard. It's about the same, you know, like I said, it's the same one I used in the last build. It's cheap, and it does the job, and that's what they're going to give you, is a cheap you, cheapo. Now, the mouse for this one, they do include a laser mouse. So I had to go with a little bit better laser, a little bit better mouse this time to match the laser mouse. And there it is, the three button HP USB laser mouse. It's the cheapest laser mouse I can find. But again, that's what they're going to give you is the cheapest laser mouse they got laying around. So that's, so that's what I gave you was the HP three button USB laser mouse. That's uh, 19 bucks on new egg you can get it from amazon for 11 bucks that'll save you a little bit of money going through amazon that's why i like pc port picker to pick my porch because it tells you the cheapest price and the cheapest place to get them okay as far as the uh power supply they don't say what kind of power supply they went with with this one um with that video card they recommend at least 400 watt power so i went with an evga 500 watt power supply for this one. This one has a little bit better than the last one. This one here is 80 plus bronze. The last uh, one in my $550 build. If you didn't see that, y'all go back and watch it. It's got 430 watt 80 plus. This one here is 80 plus bronze. It's a little bit more efficient than the last one. It's about 50 bucks since you do have a dedicated graphics card in it and the newer processor. I figured, you know, give it a little bit more uh, jump on the power here. Because I believe the newer processor does uh, require a little bit more power than the old Haswell chips does. Uh, as far as the motherboard goes, we had to make some uh, changes to the motherboard this time. We went with a Gigabyte. It's got the four, four RAM slots like the pre-built one. It's got more PCI Express lanes on it. It's got more USB 3 headers on it. And it's got more SATA, SATA ports on it. It's comparable to what they have with the in, uh, ins and outs so I thought it was a pretty good close close call for what they had now this motherboard does not come with Wi-Fi and it does not come with Bluetooth capabilities so to fix that to make this apples to apples comparison let me find them here like I said I got my tabs all screwed up here tonight and where we at where we at where we at where's the one at I'll take either one there it is there's a Wi-Fi USB adapter. It plugs into a USB or USB, uh, USB 2.0 or USB 3.0. It uh, with a little bit of extra software loaded in. This thing will get you uh, Wi-Fi capabilities comparable to their uh, 8.2 11BG plus. Uh, for the Bluetooth, let me see if I can find it. I got one of them in here too to match up. Oh, there it is, USB 4.0 micro adapter. Again, that goes into a USB 2 or USB 3 on the back of your motherboard. And it will, a uh, little bit of software downloaded in your hard drive, it will accept Bluetooth uh, signals. So it should be comparable to what they're offering. Since they had it, I put it in there. Uh, the integrated 7.1, that's on the motherboard. So, you know, I mean, it's, that's what's on my motherboard. That's what's on their motherboard. That's comparable again. <clears throat> uh, it's got four DIMM slots on their motherboard. We got four DIMM slots. Like I said, the ports is about the same on both. Uh, they got 19 and one cord reader on this one. If you remember in the $550 build, they only had a nine in one cord reader. Well, again, I outdid them again. I went with the Rosewell again. It's a 74 and one cord reader. Uh, for seven bucks, seven seventy-four different cords it reads. That's yeah, pretty good. I uh, I can't complain with it. I ain't gonna get away from it unless I have to. Uh, ch -ch -ch, let's see uh, the chassis. The chassis. We got the case now. What we're gonna be talking about? Uh, let me find it. You guys probably done found it on the list before I did. I think I may have just closed it up, but we'll open it up back up for you. This case here I have built in several times in different builds. For the price, you can't beat this case for the calf. Uh, it's the Corsair Carbide Series 200R. 
like I said in the last build, if you want to spend another 15, 20 bucks, I would recommend getting this case compared to the one I said and the other one. The other one was just to more or less keep the price down as much as possible. Um, you're looking at this kind of price range, you deserve a little bit better case in my opinion. Like I said, I've built this thing several times. It's a very nice case. It's easy to work in. It's got more than enough inputs and outputs for you. You know, it ain't a bad looking little case. I mean, it works as a gaming case. It works as a business case. I mean, it's an all around, all right case. And for the price point, you can't really beat it. And it matches pretty well everything they've got. <clears throat> uh, what else do we got here? I know we had some more stuff. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, the DVD reader writer. Uh, we threw one of those in there too. Of course, it's, uh, I think I may have already covered that, but the same one I used last time. 20 bucks, take it or leave it. Some people you still use them things, believe it or not. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, they made them pretty well outdated. I never use them. I even put my operating system on a thumb drive and load off of it. It's a lot faster. Uh, all right, so the price of this system. All right, like I said, the pre build is 849.99. Uh, let me get this back to the main screen here. There we go. Uh, the total price, the base price for the custom built is $833, which is less. You got $45 in mail in rebates. That brings your total down to $797.01 for the total price. So you're saving around $50, bucks, 50 $52 by building this yourself instead of uh, going with pre built. Uh, again, there ain't enough, you know, you're saving 50 bucks. There ain't no, I couldn't see paying someone to build it for you, not at this price point anyways. Of course, if you tell me you have an $850 budget, there's a lot of things I would change around. Um, I don't see me going with the Haswell or the 6th uh, generation Skylark chip. I'd probably go with a Haswell chip and spend the extra money I saved on a better graphics card. Which, if you go with Haswell, you go with DDR3 memory. You could go with a little bit cheaper motherboard and DDR3 memory. And you could spend an extra $200 on the uh, graphics card and have your mid-range gaming PC for the same price. Like I said, this system here, with the way they got it spec'd out, it makes no sense to me. I don't even know where this would set. Uh, with that graphics card, I did some uh, research on it. It ain't even a real good 720 gaming system. I mean, if you play Solitaire or stuff like that, which your onboard graphics going to run that just as fine. So I don't even know where this where this PC even sets. Um, like I said, it ain't a gaming system. It could be upgraded to a gaming system very easily. Um, and if you just wanted the latest and the greatest, you know, you wanted that uh, the sixth generation. You know, of course, the i7, it's got the hyper-threading to it. So, it's got four four cores, but it shows up as eight cores because it does have hyper-threading to it. The big manufacturer on this one, I do not understand where he, uh, where the thinking came into this. I don't understand why they, uh, why they put a 7, you know, a GTX 730 or a GT 730 in a system like this. It just makes no no sense to me whatsoever. All right, since I'm done rambling on, I think I'm going to call this one a go. Uh, like I said, guys, you can save yourself about 50 bucks. It still ain't worth paying someone to build it for you. But if you want to build it yourself, you're still saving about 50 bucks on the build. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Share it if you know someone that's thinking about getting a system in this price range that you think they could find this useful. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I've got an Instagram too. I may link it downstairs too. And until next time guys, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.